Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, May 11th. Big massive green day today, plus $16.25. <laughs> Basically a scratch. So let's go through these trades. I'll show you what we did. Took two mighty 90s, one loser in Netflix for minus 270. Nice winner in Boeing for plus 500. No pairs trades today, and then just one loser kind of later in the morning on the S&P for minus 213.75. So uh, overnight, a uh, big move lower in stocks, specifically the NASDAQ. Uh, so I thought, we, thought, you know, I was optimistic. I thought we might see some good fireworks today. Uh, unfortunately, I just, we, you know, on this initial flush, let's look at the, the, the NASDAQ first. Uh, so the market opened up. I mean, the NASDAQ was down significantly. Uh, initially had this rally and uh, just didn't, uh, you know, I mean, right out of the gate, didn't have any, any opportunity or setups to take advantage of that. And then when this thing rolled over, I was looking for opportunities to get short, but just didn't, I mean, they just weren't setting up. And so, and, and to be honest, I just, I didn't feel really in sync with the market. I mean, I thought we might see more downside. Uh, I, you know, kind of my initial inc inclination was we might see more downside out of the gate and I would be looking to catch uh, some some bounces based on our specific criteria for entering, but obviously that didn't happen. Things ripped up higher. Uh, I thought we would see some downside back down through lows of day. We did in the S and P. We did in the Dow, uh, but nothing on the charts really set up to take advantage of that downside. And so I didn't want to just blindly kind of jump in short because I thought the market was going down. Um, and so that's what we did. So let me go through these trades and I'll circle back on this. So starting on the mighty nineties in Netflix, uh, Netflix was pushing up, got short right here and, uh, it pushed against us a little bit. And then when it, it came back down, we got this little pullback, just ended up cutting out and taking a small loss on that, uh, minus 270. And then BA Boeing was a nice one. Um, had this nice push up with volume, got short right here, right at the top, and caught this little move here. I, right As soon as I got out, I was like, oh, you know what, I should have kept some on. You know, felt like the market was getting weak, and, and, and so I missed out on, on the rest of this move here, but still booked a nice profit of 500 on Boeing. And then my late morning one in the S&P, so I was looking at some uh, more potential weakness. So we had this big flush lower, had this bounce, and it bounced right up to this kind of uh, the bottom of this price level right here, which looked like good resistance. It started to roll over. I was looking for some more. Uh, never happened. And when it ripped back up and broke above this, I just cut out and took a loss there. So those are the only three trades. Like I said, I, you know, I just, I don't really have confidence in one way or another. Uh, you know, I, I, we certainly could just keep ripping higher, but we could certainly roll over and break through new lows here as well. So uh, looking around at the different stocks, just didn't see anything that really enticed me to to want to get in. Uh, you know, some of these stocks are still pretty negative. Apple's down still almost one and a half percent. Then you got Amazon's up almost one percent, and it's kind of kind of a mixed board. So not a whole lot of confluence. I thought early in the day, I mean, we were seeing some serious correlation with stocks moving higher, metals moving higher, stocks moving lower, metals moving lower, and energy and everything. So I thought we were going to have some uh, you know, potentially some more downside with that high correlation, but just didn't happen. Don't want to force things. And so I'm just going to take my $16 and 25 cent profit for the day and go buy, uh, something really nice. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll be streaming all the rest of this week as well as next week. So look forward to seeing you in the live room. Take care.